Um, yeah, so Paige, Lyle, or Lil, um, it's lovely to have you on um, my Lil. Saturday talk. Lil, Lil, Lil. <laughs> I don't know, I can't say it. That's I'm dyslexic okay. as well. I can't, I can't read for buggery. I'm just going to say Paige L. What's up, Paige L? Paige L. Hey, that sounds good. <laughs> you want to say my last name? You can say my last name. It's bon- Dutch. Bonjour. It's Dutch. My last name is, my last name is Hennecom. Hennecom. Yeah. Is wow. that easier? Yeah, because my, my my cousin's mum is Dutch, and so the, her last name was Van Bocherijen, so it was easier. To, yeah, so it was easy to me. Not as bad. Anyway, so this is Paige, everybody. So you guys probably know Paige. If you have TikTok and you, you look at autism videos on TikTok, even though there's a guy popping up now on my feed, which I've never seen before, and he seems to be getting like some bad quality views on his videos. But Paige keeps popping up on my TikTok all the time, talking about autism, which is so dope. Her and Chloe seem to fight for space on my TikTok. You know Chloe, the Princess Aspian? So, Chloe. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. So I'm good friends with Chloe as well. So we've been trying to plan a video for about two years, but um, but yeah, Chloe and oh you fight God. for attention on my TikTok. It's amazing. Anyway, nice. um, and I've always been a fan of TikTok because I don't feel like I'm, I, you know, TikTok is an interesting place. But anyway, um, I, I should be doing more on that. I probably will be doing more on this soon. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in it. So I want to know for anybody who who's watching right now and stuff like that, I want to know how did you get started with autism advocacy doing what you're doing? Because you are an advocate, whether you like it or not. You know, you're still raising I know. Money. So, it's kind of like those accidental yeah. advocates, right? I know. Yeah, that, that's always how it goes. I didn't mean. I didn't mean for this. <laughs> then it just happened. I'm like, oh my god! I guess we're in it now. Yeah. Um, how? So, are you asking me how I did? How? Yeah. How I, did you get started? Like, what? What? What happened? Tell me a little little story. Yeah, it's actually it's funny. I um okay. So I don't know how long you've had TikTok, but there was an audio going around. Um, I think it was like January, February of this year. Um, and it was like, uh, people were using it in a really bad way, but the audio was like, well, Alice, it seems we both have autism, haven't we? And, have, um, that was that, like yeah. what the audio was. Have you heard that? And so people were using it like when me and my best friend are really bad at math, when me and my best friend fail a test, when me and my best friend like do something really stupid or something. And I was just like, that's really gross. <laughs> Why mm-hmm. are they using autism as a synonym for stupid? Like that's incorrect. Yeah. And yeah. I kind of, I just got really angry with that. Um, and uh, that's when I made my first video about autism was in like February. And I said, Hey, stop it. Stop with this audio. <laughs> I that saw it. Enough. I saw that video. Did you see it? Did you see did. how pretentious I was? <laughs> I was no, like, no, I no. Am, I am so smart. Okay. Don't <laughs> no, no, no. I can just tell I was passionate. <laughs> I was yeah. very passionate, but don't my argument me. was don't. Yeah, I'm so smart. So everyone be quiet. Like, I'm like, what a child. But anyway, we <laughs> we grow up and it was fine. But that one was my first, like, it kind of went big for me only having like 100 followers. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Went big. I was at the gym and I was getting all these notifications and I'm like, what the heck is this? I got to go home. Like, I got to, I'm famous hey, now. The house going on. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but then I think that what happened there was a lot of people had a lot to say and it was, mm-hmm. There were a lot of positives, but there were some negatives too. And I always find that I'm so fueled by the negatives. Like I see a negative comment and I'm like, I'm going to say something and it's going to stick in your stupid head. Oh yeah, it's emotionally compelling. That's the idea, right? It totally is. And so that's where I started. And I was like, well, if you're going to say all these things, then I'm going to keep talking to you and I'm going to say more. Good. And I said more. And then things happened. Yeah. Well, so, okay. So what are you currently at? What are your figures like? How many followers do you have on TikTok? I have uh, over a million followers now. I think it's uh, a oh, million, oh. <laughs> one million fifty thousand. Dude, that's crazy, yeah. and it's good. It's, it's pretty very weird. Good. So, <laughs> Thank you. And and I, do you know what's funny? Like, so I am really into social media growth strategy and marketing. Like, it's my, cool. it's, it's kind of like my my one of my special interests, and I'm obsessed mm-hmm. with it. So I, I'm actually a, I, I consult with large organizations, and I consult with them for, from organic growth through Facebook marketing, Facebook ads marketing, because a lot of people don't know all that stuff, and how yeah. to grow, you know, uh, social media platforms, especially personal branding platforms. And so, to me. When I look at retail value in social media, I think the biggest one for the biggest amount of bang for your buck has to be TikTok. You know, like the more effort you put into TikTok, um, it will reward you quickly. Well, it does at the moment, right? Um, and then it, and you will grow quite rapidly it because doesn't, yeah, their, sure. uh, their algorithm is just ridiculous. It's it's spreading con- nice. content like viruses. Oh, it's a bad thing to say in this climate, but you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like. It, it, I actually, we're going into lockdown in a few days. So that's, <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're in the lockdown here again. Oh. It's crazy here. It's crazy. I'm in, oh, are you in a lockdown again? Yeah, oh, yeah. We, we, yeah, we're getting one. We just got word of it literally right before the Zoom call. They're like, yep, uh, Christmas Eve. 
or uh, Christmas Day. Here, yeah, ours was supposed to be Christmas Day, but they brought Merry it through. Christmas. They brought it through to. Um, they gave us two hours notice. They were saying well, we're shutting the country down at midnight tonight. It was on Sunday, oh. Sunday night. Oh no, Saturday night. And we were like, uh, what the heck? Mm. Yeah, it was crazy. But well, that's that's Wales for you. Cool. But, but yeah, it's um, it was crazy. So everyone, but they 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 shut down everything that are non essential. So you couldn't go out and buy Christmas presents and stuff. So it was a very difficult mm-hmm. thing to kind of uh, yeah. navigate through. Yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, that's another. That I'm actually mm-hmm. talking about it in my vlog. My vlog yeah. vlogs are starting up again at the end of the week. But in terms of um. Yeah, so in terms of TikTok, um, I think it's great because the algorithm is just literally spitting content out every, which is excellent. So the more reactive yeah. you can be on TikTok, the more it rewards mm-hmm. you, obviously, because they're trying to be this like dominant player. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that's really good because what TikTok, I don't know if you've seen this, but TikTok are moving away from kind of like um, selfish love. It's about, you know, they're moving away from that and they're putting more money into, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all those yeah. Putting, <laughs> the dancing they're, things. They're, 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 they're putting more money into <laughs> like, education um i'm trying to say that it's an educational platform as well because if you look at like facebook and instagram and uh, youtube these these places are like they're thriving with how to's or diy dads and all this kind of crap so yes so so tiktok's trying to say how do we contend in a market where we're just we've got like 10 year old kids dancing to baby shark like how do we how do we pivot from this so that's what they're doing so i think like you hit the hit the the market at the right time with the right type of content because one of the biggest things that's missing is females right so, yeah. and I think in, in, sorry, in autism, females, it's missing that whole kind of like, this is why I wanted to do this, like this interview, because it's super important. So TikTok mm-hmm. fame, what's that like? Let me know what, what's it like being famous on TikTok? Cause I'm, I'm a, I'm YouTube famous, but you know. You are YouTube famous. Yeah. It's, it's weird. <laughs> I think that yeah. it, it happened really fast and I wasn't prepared or ready for it. But I think the biggest thing is I don't know what to do with it. Like it just happened. And I'm like, uh, where's go brands are like can we pay you to advertise something? And I'm like, yes, because I like you. I can do that. But I think the, 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 the word I would say is weird. It is very weird all around. People want to hear from you all the time. They <laughs> want your opinions on everything. They go to you instead of like going to Google. Like they're like, yeah. you need to explain to me what autism is or I'm not going to listen. You yeah. need to tell me. And, and I'm if like, you oh, and if you don't person. if yeah that's yeah. exactly they think you're like some specialist doctor right but if you don't reply yes. to them then they're like mm. you didn't reply to me dude you owe it to yeah. me to reply right it's like well, you owe it to me and then they go what a mean person she doesn't even care she yeah. doesn't even care to reply and I'm like dude yeah. I am getting I get bombarded like I get thousands hundreds of thousands of comments a day let alone people that are DMing me people were sending mail to my house I don't know Jeez. where they found my Holy house fuck. address. I was getting mail to my house. Like, I'm like, I have so many people that want to talk to me. And a lot of them are, neg- most of them are positive, but there are a lot of negatives. When I've you're had, reaching have, a million people, it's yeah. hard, right? Yeah, no, 100%. You get the and it's, it's, whoa, it's weird. Like, I, I mean, yeah. across my, across all my social platforms, I'm up to about, I don't know, 300,000 or something across everything, right? But, yeah. In, and, but I've had people come to my house, um, actually come to my house to get selfies oh, and stuff. God. And so I've got like security no. cameras around my house and like, it's crazy. Yeah. So when we move, I don't think I'm going to show the outside of my house in a vlog uh, or anything, but it, no, it, no, 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 no. it gets a bit, it does get a bit crazy. But, um, but yeah, I think and we're like, just small scale famous. Like, know, we're just like, small scale. I know. Like, people live in the Beverly happens. Hills. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Like, getting noticed. I think is probably like the weirdest thing because because uh, this is the this is the reason I asked this question is because like you know I I'm quite introverted but I'm actually quite extroverted as well so like I'm I'm quite bizarre and crazy because my ADHD I'm like whoa I want to go out yes, there and like, do I some do crazy stuff uh, but like uh, you know and I, I'm like hey and I want to be friends with everybody but at the same time I'm like whoa I don't understand what people are saying to me when they ask me questions and I get really nervous in social situations so I'm like oh my goodness I, you know it's fame for me like you know so then people come to me and in like the street or if I'm shopping or like TK Maxx or something and people come to me like, oh, it's like, uh, it's so weird. But yes. I mean, I like it. I mean, I, I remember what the weirdest thing is I was getting a, um, one of the, the vegan KFC burgers um, about nice. uh, almost a year ago. Right. And I pulled up to him mm. and I was like, Hey man, can I get the vegan burger? Hold the mail. Cause it's gross. And then I was like, uh, he was like, yeah, Hey man, I dig your videos. Uh, keep up the good work. I was like, all right, bye. <laughs> but like, I didn't know what to do. Cause I was like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I turn into I turn into like some mom when someone recognizes me. I'm like, oh my god, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> so Thank you so mom. much. Oh, that's so wow. funny, dude. Have a great day. And then I'm like, who the fuck was that? <laughs> what did I just oh. say? What, who did I turn into just there? It's, oh, it, yes, but I my first time getting recognized was at my best friend's school. I went there. It was right before the lockdown in March for us. Um, mm. It was like two days after my autism girl series went big. And so I'm there and people are like looking at me weird. 
I'm like, okay. Uh, and there were a lot of like men. So I, yeah. men stare at girls all the time. I'm like, whatever, I'm used to this, whatever, fuck off. And then they just kept looking at me and then they pulled their phones out. And I was like, what the heck? And they're going on their phone. They're looking at me. No and they pulled way, their phone up to me, And I'm like, hi. I'm like, hello, do you have a problem? <laughs> and they were like, you're that autistic girl from TikTok in the cafeteria. <laughs> and then everyone looked at me and they all went, oh my God, it's her. And I was like, Oh my oh, god! No, Get away from me oh, right man, I, would, now. I would have I'm to die. So, I was, I, I did, I think, and I, I, next second I know I'm in my friend's car. Like I just astral projected into my friend's car, and I'm like, <laughs> floats into the car. What am I doing? Yeah, and then I had oh, to do a fun. BuzzFeed interview that day for BuzzFeed, and I was like, uh that's a great so segue. Fast. That yeah, is that's that interesting. That is fun because I, I, I was about to <laughs> talk to you question? about, yeah, about the the kind of media buzz slash backlash. Like, um, I've done mm. a bunch of different media stuff, and uh, one of the worst ones I think for me was I went on a, I had a book out, and um, mm. weird, weirdly enough, the they didn't speak about the book, but I was on um Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan. I don't know if you know who he is, um, but he's I do bit, know who Piers Morgan is. Yeah, yeah. He's a bit of an asshole, but um, he is, so, yeah. so we went. I was sat next to him and. Um, Diana Reed, I think her name was on this, you know, on oh the, the Sunday morning thing. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was like Wednesday morning. Anyway, and we were nice. on TV, and then I wasn't making eye contact with them because I find it difficult to make eye contact with people, especially people I don't uh-huh. know, right? And then mm-hmm. I got all these comments, and then so the, the tabloids went out and they did all their kind of usual stuff and they put me all over the tabloids. And um, they, the, all of the comments that I noticed on the tabloid websites were like people saying, like, oh, how rude. This guy didn't even look Piers Morgan in the eyes. And I was like, and then there's other no. people did be like, you know he's autistic, right? Like you know, you know what it comes with, right? And I think to myself, goodness me. But anyway, I get so much backlash from anything I do in the media, if good or yeah. bad, like right. I could be in the media yep. for for anything, and I get like so much mm-hmm. backlash from it. Now, I want to know mm-hmm. what's your experience with like media and backlash from media. Has it been positive? Has it been negative? What's it, what's it been? I do. I definitely get a lot of backlash for literally everything, everything and anything I do. Um, but I always, I'm trying to think like there are a lot of positives. A lot of people are positive. A lot of people are nice. A lot of people support me, but it's always like, I'm trying to read and reply to people. And there's one that sticks out and I'm like, Oh, why, why'd you have to say that? Like, I, like you're wrong. I'm not, I'm very egocentric. Like, and I recognize that I know it's a problem, but I know it's also an, an autistic thing. So I have a hard time battling it. Like mm. I don't understand other people's perspectives. Like everything mm. yeah, to me, me is only is only me. From what you're right? pers- so yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I see, yeah. So if someone says something that I know is wrong, yeah, like, when I was a kid, I when I was a kid, I would lose my mind. Like I would oh. get in fights at school because I'm like, how do you not understand? Yeah, I, I do. Know. I get it. I get it. I get the so stupid. I get <laughs> it. Me. Oh, so I just like that and i'm like page chill not everyone knows what you know it's okay <laughs> teach them keep I have, going I so i just feel the fire really yeah oh, like dude. i just i i'm so i'm so bad and like even i'll say the thing and then they're like what are you talking about and i'm like i just said what i was talking about did you not listen to the things <laughs> or my least favorite is when people take something i said and they're like oh so you're saying this and uh, I'm like, no page, did i just know, say I- that at all I think no. that some people just want to argue for the sake of being an idiot, right? I do, I and do, I do think that. I do seriously think that. You could, you could be like, you could be doing the best thing ever, and they'd still be like, mm. "No, nah, you're, you're an idiot." Like they'll just disagree just you're because they just they they've got something wrong, you know, at home in their life, or that you know, life crap yeah. or something. And it's and mm. you know, I I think it was Taylor Swift that said like, "There's no such thing as hate; it's just people who need more love." And that's the kind of atheist I go oh. for. I always, and I always and this is funny. And I and nine times out of ten, this works. So if I get like hate comments, I always go like, "Dude, I, look, that was really intense comment, and I hope you're okay. I hope whatever's going on in your life gets sorted out soon." And I'm just sending you love and compassion constantly because like you, you seem like you need some love. And nine times out of ten. They go, oh, you know, I was having a bad day. I'm really sorry for lashing out. And it's like, mm-hmm. whoa, you know, they come from being a hater to being this person who really respects you because you Very took true. the time out to do that. But you know what's really funny? The thing you said about correcting people, I still have an issue with it right now. My girlfriend like kicks my butt for it all the time because like I fall out with people. But I have a degree in chemistry. It's what I did in university, right? And um, mm-hmm. and I love it. And um, but I'm also a vegan, and I'm a vegan because I know the science behind proteins and and how things mm-hmm. work, right? And the, and do you know what really the, the biggest one really grinds my gears if you will is that people come people say to me like i'll put something about veganism like maybe something positive for people to maybe live more plant-based right and then somebody would be mm-hmm. like oh yeah but you get vital nutrients and amino acids from uh from meat and i'm like right buddy i'm gonna stop yeah. you there right <laughs> and there's only there's only 20 amino acids that exist in reality right in, in our universe yeah. 20, and they all come from plants so just yeah shut, shut, shut <laughs> so up okay? like why are you talking so to me chill. about how and then my girlfriend's like 
you can't speak to people like that. I was like, yeah, I can if they're completely stupid. No, but like, I know, so, but, but that's, that's what I mean. Me. Like you said, you, yeah, you know, if you know the information and this person is literally kept telling you like complete and utter rubbish, how are you yes. supposed to, what are you supposed I to react know. to? Oh, it's actually funny because I was, I was vegan for a while. Um, I stopped because I developed an eating disorder and I love being in control. Sure, um, but, sure. but yeah, I was vegan for a long time and that was a big thing for me too. I studied kinesiology at school, which is okay. like, of the human body and what well, I specialized in nutrition for those few years that I was there. Wow. And so I was like, Love it. No, stop. So I feel you. I feel you. A lot of my videos that people try to, I don't even know. I, just, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. No, no, it's true. Fun. <laughs> it is fun. It's uh, no, it's really good. And it's, it's really easy here in the UK. Yeah. Everything, everything is vegan options. Like every, every single restaurant, everything's got vegan options on. So it's kind of cool. That's um, so cool. We're just starting now. So. Yeah, slowly, yeah. But terribly. slowly, but yeah, I don't. I just feel it's yeah. I'm just paranoid. I'm like really into nutrition and like organic food and fitness mm -hmm. and like you know I run all Absolutely. the time and I'm I'm really into all that kind of stuff. You know, and I'm a bit of a hippie, so mm -hmm. I think all of those <laughs> things. Like my book, I always say it's like Buddhism for the idiot. So it's kind of cool. I'll send <laughs> you a I'll send you a link so you can check it out. But anyway, oh my god, yeah. Um, hold on, Randall. Sorry, my dog again making noise. Um, so Hello. do you? <laughs> he's such an idiot. Um, do you think that like? But being a, a female on on the spectrum and mm. doing advocacy gives you more negative backlash than it does for people like myself, who are a, a white male, you know, typical white male has got Asperger's syndrome diagnosis, you know, telling people about it. They kind of accept me, but I, f I don't know. From my perspective, I always feel like girls get a bit of a backhand slap. I think that that is a very fair thing. And I know that especially when I first made a presence, I was getting... Oh, ah, there is a lot. Sorry, I just remembered a bunch of it. I just came back. There was a lot of people that were saying, this is ridiculous. Girls do not have autism. Girls <laughs> cannot have autism. Like, they're making tweets and these were going viral. Like the things yeah. they were saying about me. Oh my goodness. Like, That's so, like, yeah, you're such a, oh, uh, people, they don't believe me. They constantly need proof all of the time. They constantly, constantly need proof. They oh um, want to say that, they want to say, they want to diagnose me with everything else. Like they're yeah. like, I know that you're autistic, but you probably have uh, Muckhausen syndrome or whatever, and also you're bipolar and you're narcissist and you're whatever. And I'm oh, like, the oh, narcissist cool. fucking card. Oh, I don't mean to swear, oh, yeah, guys. I do. Yeah, the narcissist <laughs> card thing just really like bugs me. I, lo I love that. I lo I I I'm a, I I always say to them, I'm like, I've been tested to see if I'm a narcissist, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I know that I'm so self-centered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a narcissist. Yeah, it's not. It's That's not. What I say. It's, not narcissism, dude. It's so funny. I did. I've did a video on the difference between narcissism and Asperger's. I've got a whole oh, like I've I got a three part that. series coming out um this in twenty twenty one. And in terms of um yeah the the other stuff, people like I get that as well. You know, people message me saying like I need mm. to see a diagnosis paper. I was like, you don't need to see. Yeah. Shoot, you don't need. To you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what the heck? I actually have it yeah. here. I think I was looking at it. But anyway, um. So here's a question. I know. <laughs> do you yeah, have I any? Can pull it out, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going. To... Bloody beeswax. Um. Do you have any comorbid or co-occurring conditions other than autism i do um i've been diagnosed with uh anxiety depression ocd adhd and also recently ptsd and anorexia but we are dealing with we are dealing with it we are dealing with it Good. and i feel like the first five like my main my main five are um very like anxiety ocd depression adhd they're all very encompassed by autism yeah so it's kind of like it's part of it isn't it rather than it, it be a separate yeah. entity exactly like it there's no there there are ways that i can manage my anxiety i can manage my depression i can manage my ocd um and that helps but I, if i was not to say could i possibly not have those possibly you know what? I snap with that as well. Um, I, the only thing other I've got is dyslexia. I don't have anorexia, and I don't have. Uh, there was something else you said. Um, PTSD. PTSD. I haven't. I haven't diagnosed yeah. PTSD. Um, I was being assessed for like dyspraxia, I think, because of like my mm. excessive clumsiness. Um, but nice. uh, the yeah, I know. You know, it, it, that's the thing about autism. Like, it comes with a whole host of things because it is a, yeah. it is a kind of almost like a a, a combined like effort for things that are trying to impact you in, in a very difficult yeah. different way to neurotypical people and that is fascinating and i love to love to know that um ocd yeah. as well i think my ocd i have i took a drastic um 
I went to therapy for OCD, right? And I took a drastic change to try and eradicate OCD from my life because it ended, it ended up kind of really getting to me, you know, and controlling just, everything. Yeah, <clears throat> making my hair gray, dude, like seriously. And uh, yeah, yeah, and like everything, like everything had to be in threes or if I had to do it, I had to do it again and again yeah. and again. I was late for everything. Threes are such a good number. <laughs> threes are my OCD number. I know, me too. I everything was threes. threes. Yeah. And like everything was like a certain thing. And then when you think about it too much, you start adding more onto it. So it ends up yeah. becoming this one thing. But then, you know, after a week, you've got this whole list of like things to do. And I'm thinking, good. Yeah. So I, do you know what I did? Do you know how I, do you know how I managed to kick it temporarily so far? But so far, what, what, I told my girlfriend about it because I was very secretive. I don't know if you like this, but OCD is very like, you don't tell anybody because you're going to think like, they're going to say you're absolutely insane. I, like, I always say that OCD yeah. is like alcohol. It's like my alcoholism. Yeah. yeah I always say, look, partially. Yeah. Yeah, and also because if I if I continue to give into those compulsions, I'll spiral right back. You're going back into it, right? Of course. Yeah, but right, but right now I'm time to go into it, right? That's it. So I'm always struggling with it, but I'm not going to do it. You know, (laughs) it's like sorry, tell me your story. No, it's okay. It's like that thing when I do something, I was like, I'm not going to do. I'm like washing my hands. I'm like, I'm not going to flip that towel six times just to make sure I've done it right. Then I'm like, wait, is not doing it an OCD to not do it? Is that part of the new like line of things to do? And I'm like. Uh oh, like, and then I get into a, a frenzy. I'm oh. like, you know, what do I do? Where am I? I've got my head against the, you know, I'm, I'm up against the wall right now yeah. and I don't know what to do. And it gets like, yeah. that. is like, it kind of like imprisons you, doesn't it? And then like, it pinches yes. the wall and it says, like, you're going to rule. It does. Yeah. And like, and so I told my girlfriend, rules I said, and control in this box. Yeah, no, it does. And I told my girlfriend, I said, look, this is my OCD and I need your help with it. I want to make sure. I, I said to her, look, I want to try something out. And so I did. I told her. So I said, look, I'm really scared that some bad stuff's going to happen or whatever mm. if I stop my routines, right? And mm. uh, the OCD ones, not my autism ones. And she was like, mm. okay, look, I assure you nothing bad's going to happen, but um, I'm glad you did tell me because now I know. So I said, okay, I'm going to, from this day forward, I'm going to not do any of them. And if anything bad happens, I'll prove it to you that like, you know, it's because it's of my OCD, because I did those things and now I didn't do those things. It's bad happening. And uh, and, uh, and then coronavirus hit. No, um, but you know, and then I, <laughs> I got <caused> it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I did, I, I did that. And um, so far, so good. I'm feeling a lot happier. I think my medication is definitely helping because it, it does yes. all that. Right. Um, but my, my medication actually helps with my depression as well, which is, oh my goodness, dude. Mm. Can I, I ask you what medication you're on? You can. It's called, I don't have to, but it, but it will have a different name where you are probably. It's called Deloxetine. True. So I don't know what you're on. Is that its street name or what's it's like? medical uh duloxetine is um i'll tell you exactly what it's called i think duloxetine is his medical name oh, give me a second du- yeah oh, duloxetine okay so duloxetine sold under the brand name is it an ssri um Sorry. no it's a so it's on cambal cambalta it's a uh, used as an antidepressant a lot of the time but it's for generalized mm-hmm. anxiety disorder depression fibromyalgia and neuroempathic pain which is basically mm-hmm. why they they treat it so actually it was um it, they ran a study here and they ran it through people with um specifically people with diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome. I don't know why. I don't know why that made a difference, right? But, um, and so my my doctors were like, this seems to be the best one. And I've been on it now since Jan- uh, February. And honestly, dude, it changed my life. Changed my life. So what, if you don't oh, mind me asking, what are you on? Um, I actually, so in July, I stopped taking my medication because it was giving me horrible side effects. But oh. I was on, I was on medication straight from when I was 15 to July. So I, I was almost 20. Um, and then, cause I was like, I'm better. I'm different from when I was 15. Yeah. So I'm going to take, I'm going to go off. I'm in and control. I went off. Yeah. I'm in control. <laughs> I'm fine. So I went off July and then it was October where my family and friends, like my boyfriend and my mom kind of came to me and they were like, we hate you right now. <laughs> yeah. you, you are so much you are so sad and anxious and everything's falling back into my bad everything was bad and i was like i want to die i'm done i'm done i'm done so then i finally my mom made me call the doctor i'm really bad when i'm when i'm when i'm done it's a depression thing like i'm like i yeah, don't yeah. see any just, any just, point in getting help because you'd be like you it's know? not gonna work anyway so what's it's the not point? gonna work i'm yeah. not gonna get help yeah so yeah, my exactly. mom is like no sit down with me and we're calling right now and i'm like oh my god fine and then he's like, Paige, Paige, there's so many medications we can try. I was like, oh my God, fine. Um, so I'm trying this one right now. And so it's only been a month on it. It is a uh, Venla vaccine, I think is what it's called. It's uh, Zoloft, I believe is the yeah, yeah. name. And it's uh, SNRI. Yeah. So, so we're trying S- that out. Yeah, this is an SNRI as well. So Dostin is an SNRI. Okay. So it's serotonin. Yeah, I told him- too, right? Yeah. No, uh, norepinephrine is the end. The- norepinephrine, yeah. yeah. The- um, reuptake yeah. inhibitor, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. The, I was on SSRI prior. I was on Ciprolex, which was um, so before, heavy, and then it? I was on, yeah. So it makes you a bit more drowsy, what? doesn't it? Doesn't Ciprolex, doesn't it have that like drowsy effect? 
Ah, uh, I didn't find that. But, but I tell you something. But then I was on search early after that too. Oh yeah, search yeah. That, that was what I thought. That's what I thought you were saying. Yeah. But, but in terms of um, the one I'm on now, so diloxetine, and this is interesting, guys. You're getting an insight into you know autism meds. But um, in <laughs> terms of uh, diloxetine, one of the weirdest things I found was I was taking five HTP to help me sleep at night because I, mm. you know, your mind's going a thousand. I'm waking up in the middle of the night, yeah. writing down ideas for videos, and do, like I can't yes. sleep, right? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so honestly, if I couldn't, if, if 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 I would not die from not sleeping, I'd stay up all night working. I love it, but anyway yes so i was taking five htp to actually get my body to rest but then my um my psychiatrist was like dude if you take five htp with your diloxetine it may kill you because the way that oh it, my God. it inhibits the the brain a certain part of it, it it's quite um it's quite aggressive when it's mixed with other things so he said don't take five htp so i had a huge adjustment for just taking diloxetine and then trying to get to sleep just on diloxetine it kind of does work right. so i take it about i'm taking i'm an hour away from taking it and i know when i'm mm. an hour away from taking it because i'm hyperactive as heck as anyone watching this mm. video will know i'm um i'm getting really irritated and i start kind of like yeah you know like i, I can't think kind of quite logically you know and it's really bizarre so yeah. i i i like taking it because it it helps me like focus and stuff. I don't know if you get that, but it helps me just really focus and just like, but that's what the SS, uh, sorry, the, um, the SNRI uh, drugs do, you know, they help you kind of just concentrate a little bit better and, and focus on the things. And I think, um, yeah. I think it's a good thing. Right. But look, meds are not for everybody. So. This is not me. You know, yeah. telling anybody to go on meds. It's, it's a personal choice. And I was reluctant yeah. for yeah. like two years. Yeah. <laughs> My sex were trying to give me drugs for ages. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. And I was like, I need help. <laughs> and they said, okay, we could have given you this two years ago, but okay. But yeah, it was funny. Um, no, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I want to I want to ask a question about autism in in girls um, and or females. And I'm feeling bad. I don't know if I test that shit to these meds yet. I don't. Uh, you're breaking up. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's okay. Yes, I see. I can see oh, you now. No, I, don't, don't please don't. I could it. hear you, and then I couldn't hear you anymore, and I'm like, oh no, he stopped. <laughs> no, sorry. I, I hear my brother come in. Oh. oh no, I'm sorry. I sure okay. my brother come in too, so I really hope he's not going to be noisy. That's all right. Like I told him that I was busy. <laughs> um, okay, so here, so here's here's the last question before we kind of just kind of go off and just have a general chat um, before we wrap it up. But really uh, quickly, you know, how do you feel like we look at? You know, I do a lot of videos on autism representation in in the media, right? And then I do a lot of autism mm. representation in males in the media. And when I'm talking about males and females, guys, I'm just typically talking about you know guys that you you will say, oh, that's a male or a woman. You say, oh, it's a female. I'm not talking about all the other genders because I know everyone, you know, there's, there's a spectrum of genders and that's absolutely fine and I support it all. But typically, stereotypically, thinking about, you know, a boy, autistic boy on TV or an autistic girl on TV, there's a lot of autistic boys or men on TV, right? And there's only one girl I've ever seen, an autistic girl on TV, and that was um, Sesame Street. Um, <laughs> no, I was not, just going to uh, say. Is it Abby? Julia. Julia, Julia, Julia. Julia. Mm -hmm. I know. Abby. Why did I say Abby? It's really weird. But my friend Ace's yeah. daughter is called Abby, and she's autistic. Maybe that's what stuck in my head. But nice. yeah, Julia, Julia. Um, so yeah, um, Ace. Uh, you might know Ace's. Uh, he's got a channel called Fathering Autism on YouTube. I don't know if you've come across these before. That's, I that's do cool believe. I do believe. I don't know how much I liked all of them. I'll look at it later. Yeah, check it out. Ace is Ace is a good friend, um, and he gets a lot of like backlash from kind of like a lot of like autistic people who are kind of like quite militant in their approach to things. But I, I but I'll tell everybody watching this right now because a lot of my viewers don't always watch Father and some videos, and maybe not all all you know love all the videos. But I've hung out with them. We were at VidCon together. Um, you know, we had a barbecue and stuff, and maybe food. That family is amazing, and they do everything for their children absolutely i can't even every single penny they're making off what they do like you know all of us doing our jobs they are spending on the future for their child so that abby has the best support for the rest of her life i honestly i ha hands up these guys are amazing and and i'll, I'll stick by that regardless of what anybody else because when you see a snapshot on a video it's just a video and as you know nobody can tell who is somebody when you spend time with them when you're around them when you you know you're playing with them you're hanging out with them different different ball game dude but anyway oh, and that's just that's just my my piece yeah, yeah, on them. Yeah. And, and, and Maybe I, I didn't like a video, but that doesn't mean I, I don't know anything hey, about them as people. Loads so. of people don't like videos of mine, but then I do like other videos of them. So it's absolutely fine. Absolutely. But yeah. Um, and I, anyway, when you can like who you like. I just wanted to say that out there because I, I they are lovely people. So before you hear all I this kind of it. rubbish from people on the internet. Anyway, so yeah, autism and females in the media. What do you reckon? What what do you see? Uh, not much, <laughs> for sure. I see Julia as a, a child character, which is cool. Not whatever. Um uh, see his new movie 
don't talk to me about it. Did you see my videos on I it? Don't. I did videos on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, have you seen mine too? <laughs> no. I, I oh, watch shoot, link me the video. Oh, wait, did I watch my, it? No, uh, I didn't watch yours. I haven't watched yours yet. But link it to me because oh, I did God. I did two on it. And I'm getting like, I even did emailed you... her, her production company and management. And, and like, they oh, just good. ghosted did me. Did you see, did you see the Variety interview? The interviewer the, for Variety? Maddie. Did you? With her um, or Maddie? Which no, one? it was, no, it was with Sia. It was with Sia. Oh, no, I haven't seen her. I haven't seen oh. it. Oh, my god do not watch it don't watch oh, it don't unless you're i'm gonna, gonna get, throw my you're gonna iPod get very mad. oh you're gonna get very mad i got mad she uh so the the interviewer actually i'm trying to currently find who this interviewer is so i can get her fired because she <laughs> uh in the interview was telling was talking to sia and she was like oh a non-verbal autistic girl basically the same thing as an inanimate object like a wig and Sia's like, Sia's like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And she was like, but you gave them a voice. And Sia's like, I did give them a voice. Yeah. You oh, have I was to like, be shitting me. Yeah. I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. Sorry. <laughs> I have <laughs> to do a video on this. I have to, I have, I'm going to oh watch this later. Oh my God. Do it. I was like, you, you, you try so hard, Sia. And you're making everything so much worse. Like, how dare you? I was so mad. I made a video about it today. I was like, that's so disgusting. Oh, send me, your, send me your video on it. I want to see I want to see what you say about it, too, because I, I do. I respect <sighs> your opinions before bloody. Oh, it. it was just a lot of anger. I don't even know. That's <laughs> my thing. I'm actually I'm doing a video after this with another uh, one of my one of my friends. And it's about the Sia movie. And I'm like, girl, I'm just going to get angry. <laughs> oh, it's so not even constructive at this point. I'm just angry. <laughs> I've gone past the point of constructivism. Just, yeah, it's just just anger now. Just pure hatred, not true. Really. Your um, hatred. So, so who are you, who are you doing a video with? Is it another YouTuber or? Uh, Christina Mayoni. Do you know, know her? No, I don't. She's, uh, I she's Canadian too. I'm sorry. She's, oh. Yeah, she's Canadian too. She's very, we're very similar. I've actually, I've been subscribed to her for like a year. She's, she's very, she talks a lot about uh, politics um, and about like people and their rights and whatever. And I'm like, I appreciate this. You do. I feel like she as angry as i am about a lot of stuff so it's really cool and then she followed me and she's like hi and i'm like oh my god i've been following you forever <laughs> and she's like do a video with me i'm like yes i will so i'm really excited but um yeah so it's kind of funny you're talking about like you know of autism like yeah. there uh, wasn't any forever and then all of a sudden they were like hey, here's one but it's maddie ziegler she's <laughs> making a, a mockery and uh oh. and sia says that they're inanimate objects like wigs so have fun i, I honestly did I'm raging inside right now that you said, like, I can't even, I can't even fathom it. Like, I just, Ugh, I, it's gross. It's unbelievable. Like, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch it and do a video on it. Like, but, yeah. and I do feel I sorry for Maddie as well, but I do, I do. Well, honestly, and in the interview, I was, cause I was watching it today, cause I wanted to make sure I, I saw someone say this first. Mm. And I was mm. like, I gotta watch the interview and make sure that was actually a thing. So I stitched that part of the interview with my TikTok. Um, but at another part, Sia was talking about how Maddie was very uncomfortable with this a lot. Like how Maddie was like crying to Sia and she was like, I, I don't want anyone to think I'm, ma I'm making fun of them. And Sia was like, I won't let that happen. I'll Ugh. control their thoughts for you. I'll shield you from the harsh realities of the world. Because I'm your I'm your mother and I'm going to do that for yeah, you. That, yeah, you got a really creepy relationship, dude. I said this. They she's do. A, she's they a godmother. Do. She's a godmother yeah. and they also have a really cute relationship. But Maddie has been conditioned since she was, she's a very talented young woman. Yes. She's been conditioned since she was such a young girl. And I've seen her. Mm. I mean, that what's her name? Abby, um, whatever Abby her name, Miller. Miller. Yeah, she's yeah. she's just like nuts, like biting people's fingers Abby's and stuff. Nuts. Like, Argh. and I'm thinking, I'm like, I know. Me. Like, you know, I used just... to watch Dance Moms as a kid. I was a oh, dancer no. as a kid, so oh, I was like, yeah, yeah, Dance well, my Moms. Girlfriend's, oh my god, yeah, that's nuts. my girlfriend's a dancer, so I've I've watched it with her. She's had it on. Well, I don't watch. It. I don't sit down and watch it, but oh, yeah. I've seen no, but episodes like, it. but yeah, and yeah, I, I was just thinking to myself, these poor girls, like Maddie and her sister, they come from a, mm -hmm. you know a nuts upbringing, really. You know, it's it's just bizarre. But having Sia have this like really weird like. I don't know. It's all a bit freaky, but anyway, yes. Paige, dude, we've been talking for like, I don't know, 40 minutes or something, and it's been, it's been dope. And I think that like, I'd love to do this again because I think we could talk the world apart because I, I could just go for hours. Very talking true. About stuff. I could. Um, yes. <laughs> we both like to talk a lot. Like we, we, we have so many ideas and so many things to talk about. I know, I but I, yeah. so, but yeah, but stay on the, stay, when I stop recording, stay on the, stay on the video. I got someone to talk to you about um, some of the okay. projects I'm working on. We can, yeah, we can discuss, but anyway, um, cool. but yeah, do you, look, thank you so much for coming on. And I do apologize. Yeah. Yes. I've spoken too much as well. I just got so excited because me and Paige got loads to talk about and I'm sorry if I didn't give her enough time to talk. I'm so sorry. I do I do feel like I talk too much and I'm talking over you're you. You're more than good. There you uh, go. You're more than good. I'm doing the same thing. So no. it's, it's good. Bring each, we get back to it eventually and that's all that matters. We do. <laughs>
But if anybody wants to get um, Paige on TikTok or anything else, um, I'm going to leave all the links for everything she's on platform wise down below. And please don't go to a house or send her any weird mail. Um, so, uh, <laughs> other than can't that, can't believe I needed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, disclaimer please don't send me mail to my home. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. Anyway, right. Um, Paige, anything you want to say before we go? You want to promote anything? Is there anything you got coming out? Anything cool going on? I don't have anything cool going on. <laughs> I wish I did, but now I'm going under lockdown and now I have no idea, but I think Aww. I'm going to be doing more on YouTube. So <gasps> Ooh, stay tuned for that because yeah, well, I think that's a thing I want to explore. Okay, cool. Well, That'd I can fun. help you with that, but yeah, let me know. I'll, 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 uh, I'll link you. I can link you to, to that. So yeah, guys, if you want to check out our YouTube channel, subscribe before it gets blows up. Blows up. Comment so, now. I'll respond. Are, are you making, are you making fun of my accent? No. <laughs> that's all did right. I do it? I'm sorry if I did, if I tried to do your accent, oh, no. I, sub- I sometimes do that. No, it's weird. You, you sounded slightly British. And then I thought, that. I was like, I, I don't know. Is it just a posh Canadian accent? A boot? Or like, you no. Know, I don't know. Oh, no, that's me. Did I? What? <laughs> no, no, it's no, all good. But sometimes, but that sometimes I do do that. There was a guy talking to me in a British accent one time, and I thought he was joking. So I started talking in a British accent, <gasps> and he was joking, but I just oh. kept going. I just kept going. And he was like, where are you from? And I was like, Birmingham. And he was like, oh, wow, I'm so sorry I made fun of your accent. Dude. Like, oh, no, it's all right. Nobody from Birmingham <laughs> sounds like that. I know, I'm sorry. I don't the, know any no, of the places. But Birmingham has a very distinct accent, and we call them Brummies. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. It's like, what are we They've got a really bizarre accent. Oh, my I God. I don't listen. All Dude, the parts Birmingham. are over there. You guys funny know, and, different Funny enough, accents. I did a keynote talk in Birmingham last year in the summer, um. and – um, it was in the NEC, which is like this big kind of like event center, right? And I went on stage and okay. I did the talk for them, right? And afterwards, I was like, if anybody wants to get a selfie with me, come check me out. I'll be by the National Autistic Society kind of stand. So when I come off stage and there's like 200 people just queued up and I was like, uh-oh. And it disrupted the entire event. It ran through the entire event. I spent I spent an hour and a half or two hours just taking selfies to talk to these people. And I was like, oh shit. Like it was the weirdest oh my experience of my life. Honestly, it was the first time I'd done like a big appearance since like my channel kind of grown. And so I was yeah. like, uh-oh. And so now it, it just gets crazy. Crazy. like every time i do those in manchester or birmingham or london now i just get these like people accusing i was like oh my god wow. but yeah it was really funny you should mention birmingham. big towns yeah. Uh, yeah that's the only that's the first place that came to my mind i had to say something quick good on though. my feet right yeah no, it was i was good, like I, I am i am from britain somewhere yes britain. i will say you can always you can always just say chelsea chelsea's in london and everybody talks posh in chelsea i didn't know chelsea was a thing i didn't know I know two places. <laughs> Birmingham. That's where you're from. That's all I got. Are all you right. upset? <laughs> no, no, I'm not upset I'm, at all. I'm sorry. No, don't, please don't be sorry. Um, right. So, Paige, thank you so much for coming on to the cast. I'm going to stop recording thank now, you. but we're going to talk after this. Okay, guys, like that I said, check good. out Paige's stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with another interview. Well, next week. <laughs>